Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison and today I am reviewing the Dyson Amazon hair dryer dupe. So let's be honest, this is really more of a copycat slash lookalike for the Dyson hair dryer than it is an actual dupe. And I say that because this device isn't really have any of the specifications or any of the technology that the Dyson has. So really what we're getting here is the look of the Dyson without the function of a Dyson. This is a really hot item on the internet right now because people love the look of Dyson, they love the aesthetic of Dyson, but they love the affordability and the accessibility of Amazon. So put those two together and what do we have? The Dyson Amazon dupe baby. I'm honestly not sure on the legality of copying styles and designs like this of brands. I'm pretty sure the way it works is as long as you are not claiming to be something you're not and as long as you're not using false advertising or false graphics. For example, if they were to write Dyson on this device or claim to be Dyson itself, uh, then that would definitely be illegal. But I'm not totally sure on the legality of this situation, but I think since there's no false claims being made here that it's technically cleared for Amazon. So according to Dyson.com, the Dyson Supersonic is fast drying, it's no extreme heat, it's engineered for different hair types, there's a bunch of really amazing technology and warranties and specifications that are all listed on here. We even have celebrity hairstylists that are endorsing the product. And overall, this item is $399.99. And I believe there are two different colors available, but it looks like that's really the only difference between the different options or really the color scheme. The Dyson Amazon hair dryer is an 1800 watt professional hair dryer. It comes with three attachments, unlike the Dyson, which comes with five attachments. Um, there's a bunch of specifications on here. There's a lot of claims as far as safety goes and as far as the prevention of damaging hair. It talks about how it's great for kids, um, talks about radiation and different head options. So there are some specifications on here, but overall it doesn't really seem like it has any specs that are similar or comparable to Dyson. Um, they don't actually reference Dyson on here at all, which I'm sure is part of the legality of the situation. And this one retails for $38.99. That means that there is a $361 price difference between Amazon and Dyson. Now, I think we should be really honest about what this is. This is a tool that someone is buying if they want to look like they have a Dyson. This is not going to perform the way that a Dyson does. I think if you're purchasing this with the intention on getting the benefits of Dyson, you are out of your mind. There's a reason why the Dyson is $400 and there's a reason why this one is $40. Okay, so let me be clear about something. I'm not the kind of girl who's going to spend $400 on a hair dryer. It's just not going to happen. I'm pretty sure when the Dyson first came out, it was actually even more than that. I think it was like $500. Now, if we're talking about a vacuum cleaner, I feel very differently. I've spent thousands of dollars on Dyson vacuum cleaners, but for a hair dryer, it's just not going to happen. And I'm honestly just not the kind of person who uses a hair dryer often enough to justify an expensive hair dryer the way that I can justify a vacuum cleaner. I do think Dyson doing hair tools is very, very interesting and I would be interested in trying them out. But for today's video, we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna be reviewing this bad boy for you guys. I'm gonna be talking about the benefits. I'm gonna be talking about what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'm not really gonna be comparing it to the Dyson because I haven't used that and I think that that's just silly and unrealistic. It's not a Dyson, you guys. It's from Amazon. It's $40. I love experimenting with different products. I love testing things out and I was really excited to get my hands on this. So just like everybody else, I love the aesthetic of this device. I think it's super cool, very sleek. I like the style of it and that's definitely what initially drew me in. I will say aesthetically there are some differences between this and the actual Dyson other than the obvious things like labels. Um, the front looks very similar but there's some different things going on with the fan and then the back is a little silly. I would say this doesn't feel luxury. Somebody who's familiar with luxury tools and luxury devices I think you're gonna you're, this isn't gonna fool you. You're gonna know the difference. Um, I wouldn't say it feels super cheap and dinky but it doesn't feel luxury. And one of the biggest differences is you have these little holes here that are just little aesthetic designs, I guess, that are supposed to mimic what the style of the real Dyson looks like. The biggest difference with that is that these little holes on the Dyson are functional, whereas on this, they're really just there to like copy the look. 
The biggest aesthetic difference that you're going to see with this device is that there's no hole here in the center. So when you look at the real Dyson, there's no fan, there's no traditional fan, and this looks very much like a traditional hair dryer that has a center fan. The Dyson literally just has one big hole going through the whole device. So if you're thinking you can buy this on Amazon and trick your friends into thinking that you have the real Dyson, you're wrong. There's no way that people are going to believe you that this is the real Dyson. Um, it's obvious enough that it's not real that you're not going to be able to get away with that. So don't try it. My favorite thing about this hair dryer is the aesthetic of it. I love the way it feels. I love the ergonomic shape. I think that the handle feels really good. It reminds me of a hammer, um, but I think that it's just really user friendly. And overall, I like the way it feels. And that's important when you're styling your hair because you're holding a hair dryer up against your head for a long period of time. So it being comfortable um, and feeling good in your hand does make a difference. This hair dryer comes with three concentrator nozzles. Honestly, I never use concentrator nozzles like ever but I'm gonna go ahead and go over them with you guys the first one is a diffuser nozzle this is a piece that is for curly hair and it's for distributing heat evenly and uniformly I don't have curly hair and I don't need to distribute the heat evenly so I never use this device but I will say this was a little tricky to attach on the hair dryer so for those of you who are wanting to use this specific nozzle it was a little dinky to attach on to the device I found it a little awkward and just overall not very good quality with actually applying it to the device. I tried it multiple times and I was able to get it to work every single time, but you're something to be aware of. It does feel a little dinky. The other two devices are supposed to be different. They are smooth nozzle and styling nozzle. They're supposed to be different functions, but honestly, I cannot tell the difference between these two. One is a little tiny bit smaller than the other, but they look like they would perform exactly the same. So I don't really understand the point of that. There are three different speed settings on this hair dryer. There's a fan setting, a low setting, and a high setting. Now, I cannot tell the difference between the fan setting and the high setting. I do like all speeds on this hair dryer, but just so you know, the fan is maybe a medium setting. It's only slightly less than the high. So I feel like we could have eliminated that and just done two speeds. I'm not really sure why there's three, but I do appreciate having the difference between high and low. I absolutely love the volume of air that's coming out of the fan on this device. I love that it doesn't get too hot. It has a nice warm function, which I think is really perfect. My favorite thing about this besides the aesthetic is the amount of volume of fan that is coming out. The amount of air that is being blown out of that fan is amazing. It's a really high volume, way more than traditional hair dryers. And I think that that's because of the size of the nozzle. So I really really, really enjoy that about this one. And it makes me interested in this style of hair dryer opposed to the traditional kind of gun version that you're used to. There are two different heat settings on this hair dryer. There's a cool and then there's a warm. I don't feel that the cold is very cold and the warm's not very warm. Both of them are pretty lukewarm to me. This hair dryer does not get hot. So if you're needing a heat setting for, let's say, styling purposes, I don't think this is a good tool for you. I love that it doesn't get too hot. You can use this hair dryer for an hour and it doesn't get too hot. It doesn't burn your hair. It doesn't burn your hands. You don't feel like you're damaging your hair off. With that being said, the heat setting doesn't dry your hair super quickly. So it's kind of a win-lose situation with the heat setting. I do wish that there was a hotter option. I feel like that's something that's lacking in this device. If there was maybe a cold, a warm, and a hot, I would appreciate that. But it really never gets hot and it doesn't get that cold. So it's really just a cool and a warm. One thing I absolutely love about the temperature adjustments on this device is that you don't have to hold the cool setting down. The temperature control is on the back of the hair dryer, so you can adjust it with your thumb while you're using the hair dryer. Other hair dryers that I've used in the past, the cool function, you actually have to hold down with your finger for it to remain cool. So as soon as you let go of that button, it goes back to a hot or warm setting. So I really love that you can adjust the temperature with just a flip of a switch. I find that to be so convenient, so practical, and I really, really like the temperature options on this device. 
As you can see, the actual size of the fan on the Amazon hair dryer is much bigger than a traditional hair dryer. You can see that the overall dimensions and circumference of that fan is much larger, which makes sense why you're experiencing so much more air being blown at your hair. I noticed that the smaller attachment here produces about the same volume of air as my traditional hair dryer. So these are really similar in the fact that the amount of air that's coming out with the nozzle is the same as a regular hair dryer. I like having that option. I think that that is convenient. I'm not someone who really uses a lot of attachments on my hair dryers, but it's a cool option to have. I do find that these attachments are a little dinky. They're a little tacky and plasticky. I've heard that there is an Amazon version of this hair dryer that has better attachments, but this one isn't so great. Like I said earlier, I don't personally use attachments, so it's not a deal breaker for me, but if you're someone who's gonna use these attachments regularly, I would maybe skip out on this one. Let's talk about sound. I feel like sound is a big factor in your hair dryer. Um, this one isn't super loud, but it's not super quiet either. I wouldn't really classify this as a quiet hair dryer. To me, it's pretty standard, but I'll take you through the different settings so you can hear the difference. So the first function is fan. The next function is low. And the last function is high. is pretty much the same as the fan. I can't hear much of a difference, I can't feel much of a difference, but the low isn't too bad. Pretty low, right? I don't think this is enough like fan to be doing much on the low setting. I don't think I would use the low setting very often, but you can talk over it if you want to. Not too bad. Like I said, I feel like the sound is pretty standard. I have a Chi hair dryer here, so let's go ahead and compare the difference of the sounds. So low, here's the Chi. And here's the Amazon. Not too different. The pitch of my Chi is a little higher. It's a little bit more of like a ringing sound, whereas the Amazon device is a little bit more of a low rumble. And for the high volume, same concept, the Chi is a little bit of a higher pitch and the Amazon's a little bit more of a lower rumble. On the high function, I actually feel like this one is a little bit louder, but this is a pretty quiet hair dryer, so. Let's talk about weight. I was hoping that this was going to be so lightweight. Now, it's not uncomfortable. It's not super heavy. Um, it's pretty comparable to the Chi one that I'm using. I would say it's a standard, normal hair dryer weight. It's not super light. It's not super heavy. Kind of like the sound. It's just to be expected. It's fine. If you're specifically wanting a hair dryer that's super lightweight, then I don't think that this one is like specifically special, but I wouldn't complain that it's too heavy. To me, it's like, I don't know, pretty normal. So as far as my hair goes, there's always all these crazy claims about the performance of your hair dryer on your hair. I see no difference. I never see a difference. I've never used a hair dryer that I've been like, oh my gosh, my hair looks so much better with this hair dryer. Granted, I've never used a Dyson hair dryer. I've never used, you know, a $400 hair dryer before. So maybe if I already use a hair dryer like that, I would see and feel a difference. But personally, I can't tell the difference as far as the way it looks and the way it feels. My hair feels dry and it feels the same as it does with any hair dryer I ever use. Overall, I like this hair dryer. I definitely love the aesthetic of it. I think it's fair for the price point. I think that this is what would be expected of a $40 hair dryer. I don't have any major complaints about the device, but it's not something that I'm really excited to brag about either. I feel like you get what you pay for and it's about what I would expect. Besides the aesthetic of this hair dryer, I find it to be user friendly and I really, really like the amount of volume of air that's coming out of the hair dryer itself. That is one of my favorite things about it. I wish all hair dryers did that. I think that's probably something that you would experience from any larger hair dryer and maybe I just am used to smaller hair dryers. But from my research, that's a common compliment about this style of hair dryer is just how large the overall fan is dispersing a lot of air. For me, 
me, the only hair dryer device that I can truly recommend is the Revlon One Step Hairbrush. This is a volumizing hairbrush and I love this thing. I've been using this for years and this to me is so superior. It does get very, very hot so I do feel like it's damaging my hair but I love this thing because it allows me to do my hair very quickly when it's wet. This is the only hair drying tool that I've ever found to allow me to quickly style my hair in a way that I'm happy with from wet to dry hair in one step without incorporating other hot tools such as curling irons or flat irons. So I really love this device. This is one that I highly recommend. It gets very hot and it's very loud, <laughs> but this is one that I think I'm very happy to recommend to people because it is user friendly. It does do a great job and everybody is happy with this because not only the volume, but the fact that it gives you a salon looking blow dry at home in a matter of minutes instead of having to learn how to use a blow dryer and a hairbrush to try to create this sort of beautiful blowout that those of us who are not professional stylists have a really hard time doing on our own. That is all my thoughts, you guys. If y'all have tried out any of these tools and have any insight you want to share, please leave them in the comments down below. I hope that this review was helpful for you guys. I worked really hard to try to include useful information and try to give you guys good clips, so I hope that you enjoyed. If you choose to shop with any of these items that we talked about today, please use my Amazon affiliate links down in the description box below. There's lots of information down there, and if you choose to shop through my affiliate links, it doesn't change anything on your your side, but it helps to support me and my channel because I make a little bit of commission on those. So thank you so much for that support in advance. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos and definitely check me out on Instagram as well. I will see you guys in a later video. Mwah! I feel like everybody always holds this hair dryer backwards. This is the back. Did you guys know that? This is the back. This is the front.